What is up, Jupiter? I'm Jason Dobular, and I've got your news for Thursday, December 3rd, 2020. I just got the second dose of my anti hope vaccine. So let's hope that my nose doesn't start turning green this time. Attention, ninth grade students. Are you interested in a college readiness program with the potential to earn a Florida prepaid scholarship? You're going to take stock in Children Incorporated, a nonprofit organization transforming Florida one student at a time. Working in every county throughout Florida, our mission is to break the cycle of poverty for low-income, academically qualified students by providing opportunities for a post-secondary education. Through an innovative multi-year model, we provide wraparound services to students with no drop-off drop off of services after high school completion. Students are matched with a caring volunteer mentor equipped with academically focused intervention, awarded a college scholarship, and provided with post-secondary retention services. Take Stock will be holding an informational meeting for current ninth grade students and their parents who would like to apply. Please join the Google Meet on December 8th at 6 p.m. to learn more about the program and the application. The JV girls basketball team opened up the season with a 42-32 victory over Palm Beach Gardens. Riley Lewis and Amy Manzano each scored 10 points to lead the Lady Warriors. The varsity girls basketball team dropped their opening game to top ranked Santa Luz's 42-49 last night. Senior A. Ginky scored a game high of 18 points and Veronica Edwards scored 9 points. The Lady Warriors travel to play Atlantic today. Best of luck, ladies. Shout out to Ronnie. And now, students, families, and staff of Jupiter High School, we appreciate the hard work of our teachers every day, especially this school year. We want to thank around our amazing teachers even more this week because our school has been selected by the district's Thank a Teacher on Tour campaign. Through Wednesday, December 9th, show gratitude for your teachers by nominating them for a chance to be highlighted in this exciting campaign. You're encouraged to include specific examples or stories in your nomination about how a teacher has been going the distance for you this school year and why you appreciate that teacher so much. Then, the three teachers with the strongest, most inspiring nominations from our school will be selected to be featured in a video that will be shared with thousands of followers on the district social media pages on Thursday, December 17th at 6 p.m. The featured teachers will also win a prize of not $25, not $50, but $100 from Gold Coast Federal Credit Union, HCA East Florida, and Florida Power and Light. All nominees from our school will still receive a special message with the words of gratitude from your nominations. Submit your nominations here. What am I pointing to? I'm pointing to the captions. So I'll give you a chance to rewind and go find that link. Nominations will be accepted through Wednesday, December 9th. Let's celebrate our teachers for all they have been doing to keep going the distance. National Honor Society, NHS, is sponsoring a children's book drive. Simply turn in four new children's books to Mrs. Sparks in room 11155 to earn 20 community service hours. That's right, 20 community service hours. The deadline is November, December 18th in room 11155 off the Media Center. Congratulations to the boys cross country team on their third place finish, qualifying them for a spot at the Tri-County Championships on December 12th at South County Regional Park in Boca Raton. The Tri-County Championships will end the season for this year. The seniors will be running their last race are Mikey Holtrup, Ethan Lancey, and Jack McNamara. Max Sanderson and Christian Floyd finished their cross-country careers at county championships. Congratulations to all the seniors. Interested in coming out for a track and field this spring? There are so many different events to try. We have sprints, 100 and 200, middle distance, 400 and 800, long distance, mile, and then two miles, hurdles, long jump, triple jump, high jump, pole vault, shot put, discus, and javelin, plus relays. There will be a short informational meeting at the track after school on Wednesday, December 9th at 3, 3 p.m. You can also join the Google cl Classroom code to get information with the code 7J6FZUT. 
if you want to look at that code and take a picture of it, you can turn on those captions and then take a picture. And you can also stop by Coach Jefferson's Portable 29. The Warriors Against Human Trafficking Club will be holding a lunch meeting during both A and B lunches on Tuesday, December 8th. Lunch A will meet in Mrs. Eichhardt's room, 7111, and Lunch B will meet in Mrs. Hansen's room, 5109. You can also join via Google Meet. Join our Google Classroom if you're interested in purchasing a Warriors Against Human Trafficking shirt. Please bring $15 to the meeting or contact Mrs. Hansen. Part of the proceeds will go to Ashton Kutcher's Thorn Organization to help combat human trafficking. Tennis. Any boy or girl interested in trying out for tennis, please join our Google Classroom using the code E2FWNAK. We will be having a virtual meeting on Thursday, December 10th at 3.30 p.m. Important information will be discussed pertaining to the athletic paperwork, deadlines, and COVID concerns. Any questions, please email Coach Lang at kathy.lang at palmbeachschools.org and Coach Babic at john.babic at palmbeachschools.org. It's finally competition season in DECA. The last chance to sign up to compete is this Thursday, no later than 12 p.m. The form is located on the Google Classroom, and your dues must be paid to compete, so pay those dues. Additionally, testing for role plays will be on December 9th from first period to third period. Do you like Bolay? Do you like helping out sick children that are going through treatments to help them feel better? Hopefully you like Bolay, but more hopefully you like helping out sick children because on December 4th from 5 to 8 p.m. at Bolay on Indian Town is your chance to enjoy great food and help Dance Marathon raise money for the Children's Miracle Network at Shands Hospital. Come out and help us raise money for equipment and treatment that will help out these kids. See you there. Attention Inkwell staff. Our next meeting is Monday, December 7th at 3 p.m. via Google Meets. Keep those submissions coming. We, are, um, we aren't looking for anything specific in terms of submissions. The instructions for submitting are on Google Classroom. The code, put out those pens and papers. Well, actually, if you're, if you're on staff, hopefully you have the code by now. But if you don't, the code is 20NC36B. Do you love to read but can't always make time to do it? If you have a passion for books and want to hold yourself accountable for doing something you enjoy, then we have a club for you. Come to the first virtual book club of the year on Wednesday, December 9th at 2.45 p.m. Join our Google Classroom and click on the meet code in the banner. The class code, if you still need it, is hy 74 miq Please email Mrs. Jeffs if you have any questions. This holiday season, the Childhood Cancer Support Club is aiming to brighten up the days of many young cancer patients within South Florida. However, they need your help. CCS will be hosting a toy drive through Friday, December 11th. Bring in any new unwrapped toys in exchange for service hours. All donations will be given to the Pediatric Cancer Unit at the Nicholas Children's Hospital. Thank you for your support. And now you have been waiting the birthdays for the day. A pretty pretty great day for birthdays. Maybe I'm a little bit biased. But first off, happy birthday to the one and only Andrew Pappas. Next up, happy birthday to my fellow War Cry staffers, Antonia Deveni and Peyton Weiss. And happy birthday to Arturo Calderon, Matthew Einkoff, Hilary Fonseca Villegas, Grace Horgan, John Royaz, Mason Taylor, and finally, a very special happy birthday to my girlfriend, Megan Marie Hack. Thank you so much for keeping me sane the last eight months. While we're at it, quick shout out to Megan and I, sophomore year Spanish teacher, Mr. Rowan. And Kirsten, you also have Mr. Rowan. What do you have to say about Mr. Rowan? Um, Mr. Rowan is my French teacher. Mercy for all you have done. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Mr. Rowan. And now it seems that we may have temporarily, maybe permanently run out of key club quotes of the day. I know you're distraught. You're saying, Jason, please, I need a quote, especially if it's your birthday. You're feeling like you're getting the shaft right now, not getting a quote. Well, guess what? I do have lunch with my grandparents every day. So right now you're going to get the very first Jason's grandma's quote of the day. Usually in life, there's enough conflict that you don't have to look for any. And that's a quote from yesterday from my grandma, Linda Wolf. And now, students, I'm all out of cheesy happy birthday messages to my girlfriend and news for the day. So I hope you all have a great three-day weekend because we have no school tomorrow. Have a great three-day weekend, Warriors.